Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to upload or add an image to any page of your website. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into your agent panel, go under website and click on page manager. Once you're in the page manager, you need to determine what page you want to add the image to. So where it says select a page to edit, go to the page that you want to add the image to. So for example, let's say I want to add the image to my services page. I will simply click on it and the page will load. Now, the next option is to determine where do I want to add the image. So, I could either open up an existing section. So, we have a section here outlined by this dotted line. If I click the edit button, you'll notice I can actually add an image into the section, whether on the left hand side or the right hand side. In addition, I could add a subsection, for example, let's say 100%, and add an image under these two items. So, let's do that. I've added a subsection that is 100%, so whatever image I put is going to take up the full width of the screen, if it can. So I will take the image button right here and drag it right into the box. Next, it'll ask you to drag and drop the image here or upload. I'm just going to click upload. Now the image I'm going to upload is an image of Toronto, which I have on my computer. So I will double click that. The image loads, and now I can start setting it up. So how much width do I want to take up of the screen? I'm going to say 100%. The alignment, I'm going to say I want to have the image centered. Now you're going to want to give an image a title and alternative text. This is good for Google. So I will say Toronto Skyline as the title and Toronto Skyline as the alt text. It could be the same. Next, where it says link image, I could choose to have this or not. So First off, I could just have the image alone like this, where it's not linked to anything, it's just a regular image. Or I could go back in if I press the edit button, and I could link it. So if I link it, this is what I'm saying is when somebody clicks on this image, I could link it to a page on my website. So for example, I can make it go to the buyer's guide page. I could choose to have it open in a new window or same window. Or if I wanted to link outside of my website, I simply click on this button and then I can enter the URL of any other website and that is where the image will be linked to. Last but not least, if I click on the file button, I can actually link this image to a file on my computer. So it could be a floor plan, it could be a newsletter, so any file on your computer, you can actually link the image to that file. So in this example, I'm just going to link it to a page on my website. I'm going to make it go to my Toronto properties page and I'm going to press update. Now once that is done, I'm simply going to hit the check mark to save my changes and now let's preview the page. So you'll notice you have the page, you scroll down and you have the image of Toronto. When I click on it, you'll notice it takes me to a new page which is my Toronto listings page. Very easy to do and of course if you ever want to make changes again you could press the pencil button to open up the section. Go to the content you want to edit, so this is the content. If I press the edit button, I can go in and make any changes I want. So if I want to make it less large, let's say 50% of the screen, I will press update. You'll notice it automatically updates. And then if I hit the check mark, it will save my changes. I hope this video was clear and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our support team.